Hey cruiser, yeah, you right there. Stop complicating cruise planning. Hello Sail Away crew. Let's make your cruise planning as easy as possible. I have another acronym for you. S-I-C-K, sick. Yes, usually that's a bad thing, but we're turning it around this time to help you uncomplicate your cruise planning. Let's get started. The S in sick stands for select. Select your destination and your date. Now there's several things to consider when we're talking about destination and date. The first is your work schedule if you work outside the home or even if you work at home these days, there's a lot of people doing that. So keep in mind your vacation or paid time off time at work. That might limit how long you cruise or when you cruise around a work holiday, for instance, or a slow time you have at work. The next thing to consider is a school calendar. Okay, so if you have children, you definitely need to consider that. When is the best time that your kids can either take off from school or will be out of school, or if you don't have children, <coughs> when you don't wanna be around a lot of other people's children on a cruise. Next, we move to the weather in a location when you're selecting your destination. Are you thinking about a cold climate? Well, you might be thinking about an Alaskan cruise. If you prefer warm beachy climates, then you're thinking about a Caribbean or maybe a Mediterranean cruise. And of course, always remember hurricane season is from June 1st through November 30th officially. Now we've taken nine Caribbean cruises during hurricane season during our cruising history and we've never had a weather delay or a weather problem. However, we count our blessings. We all know that it happens. So keep in mind, it can be maybe a fog delay or, or a hur an actual hurricane delay. So you might get into your home port late. And of course, folks have missed their flight back home before. So make sure you have a plan. Usually that means travel insurance, which is a whole nother video. And keep in mind, if you have selected a cruise to visit a certain port and there is a weather problem and it causes the ship to skip that port, you could be very disappointed. And speaking of specific ports, of course, you might choose your destination based on a specific port. Lots of cruise lines these days have their own private islands. Of course, we know that Royal Caribbean has Perfect Day at Coco Key. We know Norwegian has Great Stirrup Key. And Carnival, of course, has Half Moon Key. Or maybe you've always wanted to go to a specific port like Victoria, British Columbia, or Aruba, or St. Thomas. So obviously, we're selecting our destination in this step. So if you're looking for a specific port, it's very important that you look at the itinerary and keep that in mind. So we're done with step one, the S in sick. We have selected our destination and our date. Bad day cruising is better than a good day working. Is it printing? I mean, is it rolling? Hey, we just wanted to break in here really quickly and say thank you all so much for helping us reach a thousand, a thousand subscribers. subscribers. Yes. It is really kind of weird though, okay, that our statistics show that 87% of you watching right now 87? are not subscribed. So just go hit that red subscribe button right now. It, it does a couple of things. It tells YouTube that people really like cruise content and cruise videos. So maybe you'll start your own cruise channel and that we can also share our fun with other folks. So back to our regularly, regularly scheduled, <laughs> scheduled program. programming. Now we move to the I. You want to investigate cruise lines. Now the decisions you've made under S may have already decided this for you. For example, that specific port we talked about. You're all excited about going to Carnival's Half Moon Key. Well, that made your decision right there. You're cruising on Carnival. Maybe you want to cruise out of a specific port. What about Singapore or Australia? Well, that choice will limit your cruise line options. What if you want an adults only cruise? Right now, there are only three choices. The British Cruise Line Saga, Viking Ocean Cruises, and of course, the new kid on the block, Virgin Cruise Line. If you're wanting an adults only cruise, those are your three options. What if you're wanting something specific you've heard about to be on board? For example, a roller coaster at sea. Well, that's only Carnival. Their new ship Mardi Gras has one of those. What about a flow rider surf simulator or a rock wall? That narrowed your decision down to Royal Caribbean. They're the only cruise line with both of those. Now we come down to cost of the different cruise lines. That, my sailing friends, is a video all unto itself. And if you're interested in a video about tips for cruising on a tight budget, check out this video right here. 
Generally speaking, if you are able to be flexible with your schedule so that if you find a good sale, you're able to sail at that time. And if you do just a little bit of research, you can cruise at a reasonable price on any of the major cruise lines. My other favorite tip for getting a good price on a cruise is to work with a good travel agent. We'll talk about that more later. So we have talked about the S in SIC, which means select your destination and date. We have talked about the I, which is investigate your cruise lines. We are now to the C, which means choose your cruise and book it. The farther out you book, the longer you have to pay it out if that's important for your budget. And this is where I recommend you find a good travel agent who is experienced in cruises. Most of the cruise lines offer special certifications for travel agents who go through their course to learn about their cruise line. That matters if you're looking for a cruise travel agent. Travel agents also usually have their own account manager that they deal with with the different cruise lines. So they don't have to sit on hold as long as all the rest of us would have to in dealing with the cruise lines. No, I don't get any special compensation, but I will put our wonderful travel agent's name and information down below in the description box. A good travel agent can also help keep track of whether your cruise price drops. Our travel agent for this cruise in January of 22 got us two price drops after we booked. She also has a really neat client portal on her website that allows us to keep track of our payments and see what we've paid and how many more payments we have. It's very helpful. Now you can, of course, call the cruise line and do all the work yourself. Some people like that. They like having 100% control over their vacation. But this is a video about taking the complications out of cruise planning. So I'm going to recommend a good travel agent. So we have selected our destination and date. We have investigated our cruise lines. We have chosen our cruise and booked it. Now we get to kickstart our research on the extras. We're talking about dining packages, drink packages, cruise gear, excursions, all that stuff. You now get to sit back and relax and just enjoy the research. All the cruise lines have the passenger portals online where you can see all the extras that are available, work them into your budget and decide what's best for you and your traveling companions. I will give you a great tip in trying to decide whether a drink package is worth it for you. Cruisely.com has an amazing drink calculator, which you can put in all your personal information and it will tell you whether it's worth it. I'll put that link in the description box below. And if you're kind of a cruise newbie and not sure what you need to take on a cruise, check out this video right here that will show you everything you need and more. Be blessed.